You can bleed your brakes using a few different tools, such as a vacuum pump or a one-man bleeder to save time. But if done correctly, the pump and release method shown in this video should work just as well as any other. This Z06 Corvette is equipped with Wheelwood two-piece high-performance Pro Matrix rotors that bolt up to the stock calipers. If you're installing an entire new brake system, make sure you check out our master cylinder brake bleed video first. You want to start with the outboard bleeder screw furthest from the master cylinder. This is usually the passenger side rear caliper. Before cracking open the bleed screw, you need to apply pressure to the system. Direct your volunteer to pump the pedal and hold pressure. Crack open the bleed screw. Your volunteer's foot will travel to the floor with fluid and air exiting the system. Immediately close the bleeder screw before your volunteer releases the brake pedal. Releasing the pedal with the bleed screw open will pull air into the system and be counterproductive. Now some calipers may also have bleed screws on the bottom of the caliper. They are only there for alternative mounting options and should not be used. If the caliper you are working on has an additional bleed screw on the inboard top side of the caliper, this will be your next stop. Use the same procedure and bleed the inboard bleed screw. Work your way around the tractor, motorcycle, or Z06 Corvette you may be working on. You want to move from the caliper furthest from the master cylinder towards the closest. Repeat the process until the fluid coming out of the attached hose is free of air bubbles and filled with clean brake fluid. Keep an eye on the master cylinder and keep it full of brake fluid at all times. Once you've bled all the calipers, you want to confirm that you do have a firm pedal. Follow the break-in procedure instructions and enjoy driving responsibly.